I think NFL quarterbacks during the season try to eat somewhat healthy. Probably like Schwarzenegger. Definitely a vegan. Probably eats a ton of vegetables, ton of water. Just like raw eggs, tons of eggs, like 20 omelets and steak. For the next 24 hours, I think I will do fairly well. I'm totally into it, except for the caffeine thing. I think I could definitely handle that for a day. It sounds like all I can eat is just grass in the morning, grass in the afternoon, and maybe, if I'm lucky, banana flavored grass in the evening. I have a baby. Does Tom Brady have a baby? Yeah, he's got two ah, damn it. I woke up and I felt good. That's not toast. <laughs> I made sweet potato toast with avocado and egg on it. I don't know if it's gonna be toast though. And I was like, this is delicious. I am killing this. Doing such a great job. Yeah. All right, so I woke up this morning craving an amazing breakfast. I'm talking hash brown, eggs, sausage, pancakes with the works, maybe a little syrup. And then I realized, oh yeah, I'm on Tom Brady's diet this morning. Old fashioned rolled oats. I don't even think I've ever opened this up. I'm so over this diet already that I'm not gonna even put this in a bowl. So, all the things I want are right here. Cheese, yogurt. The only things I can have are those two right there. Carrots and hummus. I didn't have my normal coffee, tired. Usually around 10 o'clock I have yogurt and granola. What does that contain? Sugar. Because of this stupid diet, some carrots and some hummus. When you're used to a certain routine, especially when it comes to eating, it kind of sucks to switch it up. My salad was as basic as it can be. I like putting like, you know, chopped apples on my salad. Couldn't do that. You know, even I think balsamic I couldn't have dressing on it because it has a little bit of sugar in it. And just chicken. Yep. And that's about it. I just had a plain salad with olive oil. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I got my salad, and I'm pretty sure I did everything right. But it's like, it's kind of impossible to know, so. It doesn't look bad, salt and pepper chicken. However, after lunch is gonna be the real challenge because after lunch I always, always, always eat candy. There's three large jars of candy in the canteen. I went down there and just stared at them for 10 minutes. This is what I've resorted to. I don't think I've had more carrots in my life. I really, really want sugar it's so bad. You have no idea. No snacks here are good. I had like a couple of seaweed things. After lunch, I usually have like a little bit of chocolate or mints or something sweet. But today, seaweed. But then I was like, this has salt on it. I can't have this. Nothing packaged was good. And I didn't prepare enough. That noon to when I ate dinner at 8 o'clock, I didn't eat anything. And I was very hungry. <laughs> so I've been waiting for this all day. Finally. Salmon and Brussels sprouts. Tom Brady diet. Last one. <laughs> I also had tender greens for dinner. The exact same thing, basically salt and pepper chicken and like a teaspoon of like dressing. Wait, but there's salt on the chicken. See, there's no way anybody could follow this to a T. It's Friday, so back at it. Missed you. It's like those little things that get to you. You're like, oh, I don't know if the salad dressing I like, it doesn't have sugar in it, so I guess I'll just have olive oil. I think the diet is perfect for Tom Brady. I don't think, again, it's sustainable by the average Adults. The lifestyle that I have, I don't see myself being able to stay, sustain it for more than a week.